Because that's real nice.
sartorium. Quaff. <laughs> when I wake up, I write them down. Half the time I had to consult a dictionary. Quaff. <laughs> to drink deeply, to drain, to take long droughts. Why, yes, of course. Quaff. Q U A F F. Quaff. The first strange behavior I noticed was her speech. I'd come home from work and be having a beer. Darling, don't quaff that libation. <laughs> Alex is articulate, sure. But she isn't a wordsmith. She isn't a lexicographer. <laughs> yeah, here she was talking about the <laughs> <I'm spelling. laughs> My vocabulary grew by leaps and bounds. By the fifth month, the child began composing sentences. With most babies. It's give me wah wah or baby have to boo. But instead, the child opted for a loftier tone. When wintry branches scrape the sky, on midnight steed <laughs> that gallops by. Alice marveled at her baby's verse. Again! Oh! Say it again! Happy families are all alike, but every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. <laughs> and the game as this was, this gave Alice a strange comfort. I worried I might be crazy <coughs> hearing voices. I know that's not normal. I know that's not right. Alice soon put her fears to rest. After all, her child's musing was beyond her. I've never been much of a, a reader myself. And I certainly don't compose poetry. I couldn't even rhyme spoon. Loon, moon, june, festoon, harpoon, macaroon, sasquatoon. <laughs> With the devotion of that life, Alice began to take dictation from the child. The notebook was my next clue. Three of them, spiral back. The first was full of poetry. The second was anagrams. Dog. God! That kind of thing. <laughs> and the last? The last was gibberish. Eastern philosophy, mostly. <laughs> we planned on raising our child Presbyterian. <laughs> <laughs> Soon the child's fascination with language waned, instead it opted for pragmatism. And as I go on the outside, on the outside, Shenandoah in third place, and musket fires pulling ahead, pulling ahead, taking the lead, musket fires in the lead! Ponies! It's true! Alice would wave her racing forms around her midsection, and then the infant would coo in her ear. Never before did she get an interest in racing. Soon found herself spending long hours at the Ozone. I used my winnings to buy a wicker bassinet and a handsome collection of antique baby quilts. Our child was the beneficiary. Not me. In the kitchen, Alice would open the book, The Joy of Cooking, and slip it underneath her midsection. While muttering around, measuring bowls and mixing cups, the infant would recite the recipe. That is the miracle of the filo pastry. It is densely layered, but it has a nice, light texture. Once we made a boner cloth, and another time, um, fennel puree. Sometimes the infant would suggest Ooh, another dollop of the creme de coco. Or why so stingy with the coriander? Pregnant women have cravings, right? Well, instead of pickles, my wife wanted. Foie gras, escargot. Many theoreticians believe that the mother child relationship begins prenatally. Some women sing to their unborn children, others rock or coo and report intra uterine responses. But still, by any standards, Alice's relationship with her infant exceeded the norm. Step and hit, and step and hit, step and hit. Oh, filler backhand, Alice. <laughs> Have someone 
there with me? To do things.
seeking a little peace. In she came. She asked me, my child, we worked so hard to conceive. She actually asked me. I told her it was too late. It wouldn't be legal. I was afraid. I was so afraid. Alice's fear soon gave way to anger. Her rage began to grow her child. I was its room. I was its board. I was its future. How could it? How dare it? She began to count the days until her due date. She went from lying around all day in stupor. Despondency. <laughs> to bouncing around the house like a goddamn pinball. Hypomania. I didn't want to burn it. No. I wanted to expel it. I had never seen anything like it. Hormones, I thought. I wanted to purge it from my body. But most of all, I wanted to confront it face to face. The day had finally arrived in the labor room. Poison arrows. It'll begin innocently enough, I'm 
I'm sure. Dada. Boo boo. But the rest will follow soon enough. Why take months? Why take years? But in the end, vengeance will be mine. I'm just like in a chair. 